Love of Rigor, and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today with an unboxing. I am coming to you with an unboxing of Salator Ferragama Mysterio. Yes, Mysterio. Here's the box right here, and it's Signorina. Signorina, this year happens to be a flanker to the already existent Signorina. And I would like to open this right now for you. Normally it takes me a while to get into these boxes. I don't mean to rush this video, but I have to because of the fact that I have a luxurious uh, gift box here that I would like to present to you. And I've had it for quite some time, but I did not, I was gonna give it to someone else and I ended up purchasing another one. And I'm going to provide that to the individual because it was supposed to have been an Xmas Christmas gift. But however, when I attained it, the person had already left my particular environment and I haven't had an opportunity to mail it to them. So therefore, I think it might be a next year Christmas gift. I don't know. But anyways, I want you to know that I have also given away the Signorita, which is the pink one. I've given that away, but I have no idea what it smells like. I have no idea what this one smells like. This is the first time I'm opening it. So we're going to take this journey together so I can experiment with the smell of this here aroma and give you a perception of how I feel about it as to whether or not I would recommend it to you. Okay, let's go with the... I normally like to start... Okay, let's just take everything out. Here we have a, a lotion. A lotion, a Signorina lotion. And look at this here, luxurious, elegant, uh, absolutely divine container here, and it's exceptionally heavy. Look at it. Oh, that gold knob on top of there, and it's so feminine with the little black bow on it. It's very, well, it's identical to the pink one, but it's a lot more classic, I think, by it being black. Okay, the bottle is really heavy, so I better be very careful. And here, I think we have a spray ball or roll ball. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll find out in a minute. Oops. I was trying to find somewhere else to put that because this is collapsing. Oh, yes, it's a spray bottle. They're getting away from the roller balls, which I think happens to be a good, good thing because it's easier to spray them than to roll them. Um, okay. Okay, with this particular fragrance, my intuition with this happens to be that it's going to be a very mysterious type fragrance based on the name. Senorita, the pink one, I find it to be a very feminine fragrance, but I can smell this here fragrance penetrating from the box as I began to open. Before I opened it, when I took the lid off the box, I could smell the scent of the fragrance to some extent, but I didn't have the true fragrance. But now we're going to test it. Mm, I think the bottle's absolutely divine. Mmm. Oh my God, it has a very distinct smell toward it. It's made for, apparently, I think the name Signorina means young woman. That's what the fragrance happens to be designed for, an extremely young woman. But me, to my perception regarding this, that there's an exceptional amount of maturity applied to this particular fragrance, where it's more just like the name, Mysterioso. It's very mysterious because of the way that the notes are aligned in this particular fragrance. It appears to give it, it appears to be an extension of their already exclusive collection. And this one happens to be a luxurious contemporary fragrance, which happens to be very, very chic. It gives you this here silky, milky type nuance of orange blossoms. Yeah, I can smell this like some, it smells like there's some orange notes penetrating from the scent of this particular fragrance. And I'm going to, where's the open, where's the sprout? <laughs> okay, let's turn you around. I'm going to spray a little bit on myself so I can give you a better perception of it. I'm going to spray this on because I don't like to waste my fragrance. I would spray it on a little piece of paper here, but some of them that I don't care or uh, to waste. I will spray on this particular fragrance here, but in this particular case, I don't want to waste this fragrance at all. So I'm putting it on me. Mm. Okay, this particular fragrance, you have to dry down because when you first spray, I hate this. When I first spray this fragrance, I'm not exactly 
conducting a review regarding this. I'm giving you my honest opinion, and my opinion is based on whether or not I will recommend this particular fragrance to you. Based on the scent that I acquired when I first opened the box, I would. But now when I first placed the first application on my skin, I, there was a great deal of alcohol content that was projecting itself from the fragrance. And usually when that occurs, that's because the fragrance has the oils are very limited oils because this right here happens to be an EDT. Yes, this here is an EDT. Okay. It requires an extensive amount of dry down because it doesn't go onto your skin or the first application or the first spray or the first spray sprout of spray on your skin does not give you the true detection of the correct scent that you're going to attain from this particular fragrance. And now I can smell it. I can smell like the orange blossom projecting themselves from my scent because it has this top notes and it's base uh, middle notes and then it's base notes and it's top notes apparently happens to be the orange blossom and I can smell a great deal of tuberose in here because it has like a wooded fragrance from it and it also has a great deal of patchouli it's a very playful smell where it's like fluctuating back and forth like the notes distribute themselves in a manner that doesn't give you the full capacity of one particular note there are many notes elevating themselves at the same time where you generally have like your top notes go on and then they settle in and then your middle notes project themselves but all of these are distributing themselves at the same identical time that's my perception but i still find it to be a very luxurious very attractive and um not such an extremely young fragrance as it has been designed that's the reputation it has but i find it to be very chic and very elegant yes and the notes are very very playful it's a it's a very objective fragrance and it's very projective and it's very enticing and very alluring and it appears to be a solid earthy type fragrance that's going to maintain its longevity because of the way the notes are distributed and the types of notes that they have applied into this particular fragrance. It appears to be a timeless style of modern creativity. In other words, it's designed for the modern times of now because of the fact that it's designed for the younger generation. But I would perceive that anyone can literally wear this fragrance and love it. All age groups. It's designed for all age groups as far as my perception happens to be. Mm, and I can also smell an exceptional amount of blackberries in here and some patchouli, like I said before. But the most, the high low note of this particular fragrance happens to be the vanilla and the Nairoli. And I've never smelled milk moss before, but there's also some milk moss in this particular fragrance. It's a very elegant and subjective type of uh, fragrance that gives you the allure effect that it's sustainable. In other words, it's appropriate to wear for any occasion, like I said before, but it's going to grant you a great deal of projection. In other words, project yourself because it's very affluent, and I would say I would find this appropriate to wear to almost any occasion but I think it would be almost a little bit too affluent for a work environment and if you do wear it into a work environment I highly recommend that you wear it very very modestly because it's it's earthy to some extent because it has tuberose in it it's earthy but yet and still it's not a hard type of earth, um, it's not a hard type of earthiness it's more on the um, it's more within the arena of being a delicate type of fragrance with some solid, strong notes applied to it, but not distasteful. 
very attractive. I think so. It's not distasteful at all. I find it to be very exquisite and it's sort of a silky nusan applied to this where it's very, very smooth. It glides on smooth and it also reveals itself as if it's like giving you a big hug of security because it's like a fragrance of assurance that you're going to be content and satisfied with this particular fragrance because of the way that the notes dry out and distribute themselves and also give you some um, free, free fall. The notes are like free falling, just falling and falling and falling, but yet they're penetrating all around you which makes it smell even more attractive because it's not like settling in one spot. It's distributing itself all around your body. Even though you put it in one secure location, it's like penetrating all around you. So in other words, it's very affluent and it's very projectable and it's very attractive. Like I said, it's a very chic fragrance. Uh, this mysterious also, it happens to be a design that was produced in Italy and that's where it attained its name. And it's a very, very, very attractive fragrance. And I think it's a wonderful design. It's unfortunate that it's a flanker from the original Serenina, Serenina, but it's a lovely fragrance overall. But I, I classify them as being of the same brand because they're by Mr. Salvatore Roca and Four Camel, but they are of different product lines. People classify them as for flankers, which make it sound like it isn't really original. <laughs> I classify it as from a different product brand, even though it's followed the other, um, from a different product line, even though it's within the same brand, that's my classification of it, which makes it sound a lot more authentic and original. And I think this is an original scent here, and I think it's a very attractive scent, and I find it very appealing. And I would not lie to you, I'm not telling you this just so I can recommend it to this from the house of Mr. Salvatore Ferragoma Perfume House, but he has designed some very nice, lovely, exquisite fragrances, and I attained this one without any knowledge on outside knowledge. It was like, a, I'm not going to say it was a blind buy because I had given several away as Christmas gifts, but I never smelt them. You know how you attain, the, people would attain something, but they would look at it, but they would never open it. So I never smelt it. And by me not smelling, I never had a clue exactly what it smelled like until I decided to open my own personal one. But I did have an opportunity to smell the Serenina the Salvatore Ferragoma Serenina. I smelled that one and it was so soft and delicate and I would foresee that that one would be for a younger individual, not this one. This one has a great deal more, I would say not necessarily maturity to it, but a lot, great deal more um, attractiveness and a great deal more assurance of security and interest and appeal to the point where you find it very de 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 undeniably lovely. Yes, I really, really love it. And the notes appear to be playing with you. When I say it's like they are penetrating themselves all around your body and hugging you and securely and everything, it's like they are playing with you. So you can find this scent pretty playful as well because it's difficult to make a full distinction of exactly What's transpiring with the notes? They don't, they don't distribute themselves distinctively like most fragrances, where you know you have your top and then a dry down and then the elevation of the notes and everything. These ones seems to be penetrating themselves around in a very playful manner to where it's undetectable of what's transpiring with the fragrance, but yet and still you're getting this really beautiful, lovely, attractive fragrance securing itself all around your body but anyways i just want you to know that i have the lotion here and that's what that's my perception of this particular fragrance and i highly recommend it to you and i also have the notes here i mean the lotion here and mm, amazing the no the lotion smells just like the fragrance i'm gonna apply a little bit to me just to get a true perception of exactly how it's 
hell? I really need this anyways. Oh my God, it's very emollient as well. It's very moisturizing toward your skin. Look at that, very glossy, very shiny, very delicate and very hydrating. I appreciate that because my body always needs that. And also here we have the rollerball. Well, in this case, a spray ball. Lovely miniature fragrance, a little carry travel ball case right here for your handbag. And it's made out of glass, so I don't particularly, I recommend that you carry this in your luggage if you're traveling. But however, if no one's traveling right now, well, not too many people anyways, because of the government restrictions on traveling. But when you do start traveling again, you need to put this in a travalo because you don't want it to become a broken. And if you put it inside the tent, it's highly unlikely to become a broken so easily. But let's put a little bit of this on also. <laughs> Honey, I like to try all of my belongings. So I know exactly what I'm dealing with. Oh my God. Oh, this is very exquisite as well. But there it goes again. I can detect a little bit of extinction, distinction in the true fragrance bottle here in comparison to the spray bottle travel container. A little bit of distinction. It doesn't exactly smell exactly the same, but it's very appreciative fragrance from all of these particular containers here. And I highly recommend that Mr. Salvatore Ferragama Mysterioso to you as well. So invest in this products. Highly recommend it. Have a nice evening.